Hello and welcome to Craft with Sarah. In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make glittered Christmas baubles using hairspray to attach the glitter. So here are two that I have glittered already. I've got a blue one which I still need to put the vinyl on and then a pink one which you can see I've decorated with this pretty white vinyl design. So let's find out how to make these perfect sparkly glitter balls for Christmas. So here are all my supplies to make my glitter ornaments. Here's one that I made earlier to test it out and I've done this one just in a blue glitter but for the one on this video I'm going to try and be a little bit more adventurous and do three different shades of pink to kind of create a ombre effect in the bauble so wish me luck with that. Um, okay so I have got a piece of paper down on my craft mat just to try and grab any of that excess glitter that comes up so it's easier to clean up. I've got an old um, food tub so you could use a maybe a um, plastic takeaway um, box or an old ice cream box or just something that you can put your bauble in so that when we pour the glitter in all that excess is going to collect in here and not go everywhere in theory. And then I've just put some kitchen roll in there again so that it will collect the glitter so when I want to do a different bauble with a different colour I can just gather up the kitchen towel like that and then start again um, and I've not got any of the wrong colour in the bowl. Okay so I am doing my ornaments using the plastic baubles that come in two halves that you then push together to create the finished um, circular bauble. So this technique that I'm going to use with the hairspray, so I've got some maximum hold hairspray here. Um, this works with these baubles that come in half because we're going to spray the hairspray into the middle. If you've got the baubles that just fill with the little hole at the top rather than one that comes apart, then this isn't going to be the best method for you to choose because you're not going to be able to spray the hairspray through that little hole. Um, there are other ways you can do the same kind of technique with those baubles with little holes in the top. Um, I'll put some links in the description of this video to other products you can try instead of the hairspray. But for this one I am going to use hairspray and, and this is just a random hairspray that I found in the bathroom. Um, it hasn't been used for a while but it works really well for these. So the basic premise is we're going to spray the hairspray inside the bauble and then all of the glitter will stick nicely and that hairspray acts as kind of a, um, a glue all the way around. Okay, so I've also got two other things. I've got a clean paintbrush and just a little spatula tool and that will become useful um, once we've added all the glitter because we're going to need to take it off of the little rim so that the bauble will still go together once it's got that glitter on. But we'll work all that out in a minute. For now, I'm just going to take a microfiber cloth. So this is just a glasses cleaner and just wipe the inside of the bauble to get rid of any dust or dirt that might be in there because that might stop the hairspray from sticking. Okay, so just give that a little wipe and then I'm going to put that inside my little dish. Get the hairspray, give it a little shake and then you want to give it a nice even coat all the way along so it's going to cover the entire inside of the bauble. Be careful not to spray the outside because we don't want the glitter on the outside, we want it on the inside. So, you don't have to completely drown it, but just make sure that you've got hairspray up all the sides as well as in the bottom. I'm just going to tip it upside down to make sure I've not got any drips. And now I can add the glitter. So. When I tried this before, I did it with just one colour, but for this one, I'm going to try it with three. So I'm going to start by putting the glitter at the top, and then you can see as you move it round, that it just sticks to that hairspray. So let's try a different colour in the middle. And by moving it round like this, it means you use less glitter up so um, you're not going to waste so much. I wouldn't recommend tipping it back into the glitter pots 
um, when you've done this because it will have hairspray on it so it will clump together um, so that's why I'm kind of using a little bit less in here so that I don't waste so much there we go and you can see if you get any holes so I've got a bit of a hole in the middle you can just add a bit more of a spray and be careful because it will kind of move about what you've already got in there and just add a bit more into any gaps that you've got so I've got a bit here and then this time I'm going to leave the excess in there so it will stick a bit better Go. and then just a bit more of that dark colour okay so now I'm just going to leave that all to dry so I just put that in my little pot you can see I wasn't actually very neat I've got it all over my hands but I'm going to leave that to dry for about an hour to get that hairspray really really dry and then I'll come back to it and see if it needs a second coat of glitter or if it's ready to seal. Okay so it's been a while now so let's check and see how these are coming on. I'm going to give it a gentle tap just to get any glitter that isn't stuck out but don't tap it too hard otherwise you might knock off some of the glitter that we want to be there. Just wiping the outside with some tissue to get rid of any of that glitter on the outside just from where it's been sat in the dish. And now I can have a look to see if it needs another coat. So I'm liking the gradient effect of that, but it is a little bit fady in some places. It's a bit hard, you can still see through it. So I think it does need another coat. The blue one I did, if I just show you that one, this only needed one coat and it covered it beautifully because it's quite a strong glitter colour. But on this one, some of that paler pink is um, just needs a little bit extra, I think. So I can get my hairspray back and just give it another spray. You want to be quite gentle. If you spray it too hard, you risk dislodging what's already there. So make sure you've got the hairspray on the bits that um, you definitely want more glitter on. And I'm just going to do the same thing again. I think this glitter is actually a bit translucent which is why it's not showing up so well. So I'll be a bit more generous this time. A bit more glitter on there. And a bit more of the other colours. The quicker you work, the better, because you don't want the hairspray to dry before you've managed to put the glitter on. Alright, so I'm going to leave that to dry again, and then it will be ready to seal. These have now had a couple of hours to dry, and if I look at them now, I'm really happy with how this is looking. The glitter is a lot more kind of opaque throughout it. And there aren't any gaps so this is ready for me to seal before I do that I'm just going to give it a gentle tap to get rid of any excess glitter you don't want to tap it too hard because otherwise you might dislodge some of the glitter on the hairspray but just a little tiny tap in case there are any big clumps that need to come out I'm also just going to wipe the outside from where this has been put down in the um, box with all the other glitter I'll give it a proper clean before I put the vinyl on. Alright, so this is ready to seal and to seal it just another spray of hairspray. Make sure you spray from quite a distance and just do a light spray. If you go in too heavy or too close you might dislodge the glitter that's there. What we want to do is just give it a light mist to help seal all that glitter that's on there. Just add an extra bit of sticky. 
Okay, so now we can wait for that to dry. And then we'll do the vinyl and put the bauble together. I've also done the other half of the bauble, so again, I can just tap the glitter excess out of there and give it a little spray to seal it. Alright, so I'm going to wait about 20 minutes for that to dry and whilst I do that I'm going to go over to Design Space and choose what vinyl designs to put on the outside. Okay, so I've now added my vinyl. This is just an image I found in Design Space. It says Joyful Christmas. And I followed the steps on how to add vinyl to a curved surface from my previous video. So I'll link to that in the description of this one. Um, I've decided to just put vinyl on the one side. So now I need to join these together. However, at the moment, they won't go together. And that's because the glitter is um, taking up too much space on the rim. So what you need to do is you need to work out which way round the baubles go and then you want to take the side that sits on top so that would be this one for me this is the side that slides on top of that other one and then choose something that you can scrape with so I've got this little spatula Cricut tool but you could use um, anything you like really as long as it will allow you to be precise and then you'll see inside the bauble it's got a little ridge in it and that's the bit that slides over the top of the other half. And then with your scraper just gently go down to that ridge and just scrape the glitter loose. You want to be really careful that you only go down to that ridge and no further because if you go any further then it means you'll start making holes in the glitter that you'll be able to see. But just by clearing this ridge, that won't make a difference to the overall appearance because this bit's going to be slid over the matching bit on the other side. So you'll get the glitter from that side. So it definitely is worth the time to um, be very precise on this so take it slowly and don't worry if you can't get all the glitter off as long as the majority of it is off then um, your bauble should be able to go together so I'm just loosening up that hairspray to get the glitter loose and then in a minute when I've gone all the way around the edge I'll just use a paintbrush to get any of that dislodged glitter out of the way now when I was testing out this technique for the glitter baubles, I did try a couple of other ways of doing this. So the first way I tried was to try and tape this part before I put the hairspray in with masking tape so that I could just pull the tape off. But that didn't work because um, it was just too hard to be accurate enough with the tape that it didn't go down inside the bauble and it left me with gaps. The second thing I tried was after... I'd sprayed it with the hairspray. I went round with a tissue and just tried to clean the hairspray off of um, this little ridge. But again, that left me with gaps underneath where I wasn't quite accurate enough. And also it um, didn't get enough of the hairspray off, so I still ended up scraping it anyway. So even though it sounds a bit counterintuitive to glitter it and then take it off, this does seem to be the best way to do it that I've found. All right, so I've been all the way around and just taken the glitter off of that ridge. But now I'm just gonna get a paintbrush and again, be really careful to only get the ridge, but this should just help you take off some of that extra glitter that you've loosened up with the scraper. Again, I'm not worrying about getting every single little piece, but just a good majority. Alright, so I'm not sure if you can see, but I've now got a little ridge all the way around the edge, which doesn't have glitter on it. So now, hopefully, the two sides of my bauble will push together. If they still don't, then you'll just need to go in and take a little bit more of that glitter off. But these are going to go together now. Here we go. 
all pushed in nicely and you see there's no gap where we just took that glitter off because you're seeing the glitter from the other side of the bauble. So now here is my pink lovely glittered bauble with final all ready for some ribbon and then to go on the tree. So of course you could double side the vinyl if you want to but I think I'm going to leave mine just on one side. So I hope you've enjoyed watching this video tutorial. If you have please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for loads more Cricut Craft tutorials. Thank you for watching. Bye!